something a little different is happening here at Bite Sized. The Tri Creek School Corporation in Lowell, Indiana reached out and asked if I might help them kick off their unit on gas laws, and I said sure. So in order to demonstrate some of these gas laws, I'm going to put this egg into this bottle using fire. But first, the gas laws. The gas laws help to explain the relationship between the pressure, temperature, and volume of a gas. Now in a gas, you have a lot of molecules moving around very quickly, spread apart from one another. If you cool the gas down, these molecules slow down and stop moving about so much. The volume of the gas drops, as does the pressure it is exerting on its container. But if you heat a gas up, the molecules move faster, increasing the pressure and temperature of the gas. Here we have two of the gas laws, Charles's law, which states that an ideal gas's volume is proportional to its temperature, and Gay-Lussac's law, which states that an ideal gas's pressure is proportional to its temperature. Next is Boyle's law, which states that the pressure and volume of a gas are inversely related. When you decrease the volume of a container, you increase the pressure that the gas is exerting on its sides. And finally, Avogadro's law, which equates the number of molecules in a gas to its volume. The more molecules you have, the greater the number of moles that you have, and the greater the volume. Side note, along with being an adorable animal, a mole is a unit of measure in chemistry equal to the number of atoms found in 12 grams of pure carbon-12. But back to the gas laws, we can combine all of these different laws into one ideal gas law. This lets us compare the temperature, volume, and pressure of a gas with the help of the number of moles of the gas and a constant r. Now back to this egg. How am I going to get it inside this jar? Like this. So what just happened there? When we begin, the air pressure inside and outside the jar are the same. Nothing happens. But when you drop in the burning paper, you heat up the air inside. Because the temperature is increasing, the gas expands and the volume increases. And this pushes the air out past the sides of the egg, causing it to shake. This is important because it means we've decreased the number of molecules inside the jar. Now when the flame stops, the air inside cools back down, but because the number of moles has decreased, so has the volume of gas inside. This means the pressure has also gone down, and now the air pressure outside the bottle is greater than the air pressure inside the bottle. This positive pressure bears down on the egg and, bloop, into the bottle it goes. So to my friends in Indiana and everyone else watching, I hope that you learned a little something about the gas laws and that you remember to go forth and do science.